Ever wondered how frame generation works on NVIDIA graphics cards? It's a fascinating process that involves a blend of artificial intelligence and advanced hardware. Frame generation on NVIDIA graphics cards is primarily achieved through NVIDIA DLSS 3. This groundbreaking technology leverages the power of artificial intelligence to predict and render entirely new frames of video content. This remarkable process dramatically boosts frame rates and enhances perceived smoothness in resource-intensive games resulting in a more immersive and enjoyable gaming experience. The process begins with NVIDIA's fourth-generation Tensor Cores and a new optical flow accelerator, analyzing the movement of objects and pixels in existing frames within the game. Based on this analyzed data, AI algorithms then predict the position and motion of objects in the next frame. Utilizing these predictions, a new frame is rendered between two existing frames, effectively doubling the frame rate. There are many benefits to using frame generation on NVIDIA graphics cards. It can provide up to a four-fold boost in frame rate, allowing for a silky, smooth gaming experience even in the most demanding games. It also enhances image quality with features like super resolution and temporal anti-aliasing. Furthermore, frame generation reduces latency by predicting future frames, resulting in reduced input lag and a more responsive gaming experience. Lastly, it increases overall system performance by offloading some of the rendering workload to AI, freeing up resources on your CPU and GPU. However, NVIDIA's frame generation technology, DLSS 3, is not without its downsides. Generating additional frames requires more processing power, leading to higher GPU temperatures and potentially exceeding cooling capabilities, especially on lower-end RTX 40 series cards. It can also significantly increase GPU utilization, leaving less headroom for other demanding tasks. If your CPU or other components are already struggling, adding the workload of frame generation might exacerbate the issue. In terms of image quality, DLSS 3 can sometimes introduce visual artifacts like ghosting, blurry edges, or flickering, especially in scenes with fast-moving objects or complex textures. In some cases, DLSS 3's image sharpening can be excessive, creating an unnatural and overly detailed appearance. Moreover, only a select number of games currently support DLSS 3 with frame generation, and it is only compatible with NVIDIA's RTX 40 series graphics cards. This leaves out a significant portion of the gaming audience. Furthermore, DLSS 3 functionality relies on specific driver updates, requiring users to stay up to date to enjoy its benefits. While DLSS 3 aims to reduce input latency, some users might experience an increase compared to native rendering, potentially affecting responsiveness in competitive games. To conclude, NVIDIA's frame generation technology is a cutting-edge tool that can greatly enhance the gaming experience in single-player games. However, in fast-paced shooter games, it may be less beneficial due to potential latency and artifacts. As with any technology, it's about weighing the pros and cons and determining what best suits your individual needs.